Hello, hello, Blartanian here with Silver Dragon Wrapped in Icy Winds, the Act 3, Chapter 10, Part 1 Shinryu fight. We're bringing a team of Aerith, Charlotta, and... Barts? <laughs> oh god. Uh, before we get too deep into it, you know the drill. Hit that like button, it helps the video out, and hit that subscribe button, it helps me out, uh, emotionally. Hit that emotional support that I, uh, that I knew you, that, that, that everyone really needs in your life. Um... Speaking of emotional support, that's what Bart's mo is mostly here to provide. He's, uh... I wanted to use him with the C90. He's an old favorite of mine. I know he's not good, I know he's locked out. But I wanted to see how he plays. And the answer is, uh, he mid-AF, he mid -AF, as, uh, as the kids are saying. He has, uh, so some nice qualities here. For instance, all of his attacks feature a brave gain and refunds, so he actually doesn't really care about being locked out element-wise. Unfortunately, his attacks aren't really worth using anyway, because it's all... Not super impressive stuff. Um, I've been saying this for, for weeks now, but if they had just given each of his attacks an additional HP attack, I think that would have just brought his damage up to a point where it didn't feel crummy, and would have made him not, uh, if not be worth bringing, at least not be a detriment. <laughs> but it's okay, we're bringing him alongside two very competent ladies who are going to carry him to victory. The reason, actually, I brought this team was, I was like, oh, well, I want to use Bart's, and he has a special HP plus from his LD. I'll use that along with Charlotte or Aerith FR, and that'll be synergy, right? Um, only I forgot that his special HP plus that he gets from his LD is instant turn rate, meaning I'd have to use it and then immediately pass to another mid AF Bart's turn. We don't want that. So, uh, yeah, Bart's is mostly just here to take up space. One small benefit of his is that he's not held back by a Kurasame call. <laughs> Since, uh, what I mean by that is, a, you know, the elemental enchant that it does um, would be resisted by these dudes. But he doesn't care, because he's already locked out, because he's a wind type. So, uh, if that's not the most cope thing you've ever heard, let me know in chat if you've heard worse. <laughs> um, or in the comments, I should say. Going ahead and hopping into the Aerith FR now. And the reason we're using Aerith's FR with Charlotta's burst phase, as you'll be seeing is normally with Charlotta, since her FR isn't instant turn rate, you do it, and then you have to, like, pass turn to your allies a couple times, or you have to use Luna Freya Call. If you use Luna Freya Call, then you can't use Rain's Call. I mean, I guess you could Luna Freya Call with the middle... You could, okay, so you could... Regardless, I didn't want to bother using Luna Freya Call with Charlotta here. I figured I'd just use Rain's Call on Charlotta and Aerith FR, which is basically as good as Charlotta FR for what we're doing here. Boom. Boom. It's gonna be good times. Good times indeed. Yeah, heh heh. Yeah, no, Charlotta's still crazy, insane character. I'm really glad that I built her. Um, I know right now Renoa and Tifa are in the hotness, but dang, Charlotta is uh, so versatile. And um, Aerith, of course, is just insane right now. I think Aerith is one of just the, uh, the. The term best character gets thrown around a lot. I think she's just really useful in terms of everything she does and brings, but. I could gush about Aerith probably uh, the rest of the video if I wanted to. Um, unlike Bart's, who uh, is there. Jesus. At least he looks cute with his cape. That uh, cute cape and little uh, shiny choker blade, doing his best. You do your best, Bart's. I don't care how good or bad it is, even if it is not very good. Yeah. <laughs> um, since I'm not actually using Charlotte FR, there isn't a good time to use her uh, to, do, to do the laugh anyway. Uh, anyway, we're hopping into the bur the, uh, the summon now. One big launch to finish off that reasonable force time. Not bad. Um, nice thing about this team, including Bart's, is once again, because they're all basically super battery characters, they don't care at all about being locked out in Earth Element. Uh, against these guys, as you can see, like Bart's doing a million damage a piece with his LD, pretty pretty solid. Good thing he only has three uses of the damn thing. Um, yeah, overall, the fight continues to be kind of tame and pointless. There's only one thing in this fight that I was really worried about. Okay, technically, I was worried about them double targeting someone and killing them with that wing dive move, but that didn't happen. They do have very high eye braves, so if you're bringing a team like this. You have to be mindful of how much brave they have, because if they come out of break right before their turns, and they both go, it's they, they can easily just blow someone up. 
Uh, that's why I was, I've been very kind of careful monitoring the brake order and using Bart's gravity where needed to shave them down hilariously. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This EX does reasonable damage. I mean, keep in mind, 5 out of 5 ultimate weapon and 2 HP cap up supports to make up for the fact that Bart says the shittiest blue in the game. God, it's so bad. Um, but anyway, getting ready for the enemy force time here. We could cancel the enemy force with Aerith's force. You see there we have our secret tech, though. The reason we're not going to cancel their force time with her force is because they also uh, they also have that four turns stacked up that they're going to do when they go into the force mode, and that's actually very dangerous for us. We don't have I don't think there's a way for us to deal with them taking four turns in a row, because they'll probably just kill someone between the various attacks and moves they'll do. So we're actually going to use some secret tech. We're going to actually let them stay right there. We're going to break them out of order so that we don't have to deal with as too many turns of them being in force time. Past turn with Shalada, I guess I could have attacked, but whatever. Eric's going to heal everyone up, and then going to drop our secret tech, Edward LDCA. I mean, pretty much any defensive call would have worked here. Warrior of Light, Setzer, Cater, um, Nine probably would have been fine. But I wanted to use Edward because I like Edward. He'll do just fine by us. In theory, also, his um, EX debuff that he applies lowers their eye brave, which kind of deals with that problem I mentioned about them just naturally unbreaking and killing people. So that was kind of an added layer of safety I could use the base call for if I was extra nervous. Uh, this is, of course, completely unnecessary information for a fight, this this kind of pushover. -y. There you go. The in you see the instant turn rate in action there. Reapplying Kurosami call since they cleansed it. Taking them in, you know, breaking them in such an order that the sleep kind of triggers the way we want it to, more or less. Kind of, eh. I guess I could have used Rain's Call there just now just for some free damage, but whatever. I like to hang on to the turn manipulation in case I end up needing it, like, in a clutch moment. My rule of thumb in this game tends to be, if I don't need to do it, don't do it. This is why I tend to not do too many low turn run things. Uh, like I've said before, I tend to be very conservative with my playstyle. That said, like, you see, we're well ahead of turn- I don't even know what the turn count is, but I'm guessing it's not 30, so we're probably gonna be fine. We're in the second Aerith FR now. Starts with the one brave damage break. You love to see it. We're just going to go ahead and blow them up as best we can. Charlotta and Aerith will do plenty of damage, and Bart's will mostly not hold us back, kind of. Mostly. It's pretty rough, guys. It is hard out there to be a Bart's fan right now, but it's okay. We have so many good characters right now, so many strategies you can do, so many teams you can build, so many FRs that are you know, viable in this day and age, that this character being kind of butts. <laughs> is not the worst thing in the world. I'll get over it. Luckily here, they're not double-targeting Aerith with Wing Dive, because that would have been bad. But it's okay. There we go. Um, actually, if we play our cards right, we may be able to... Uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and seal you here. I don't actually know why I didn't EX there. Oh, right. It was for the, uh, the Force bonus. With Style, Bart's getting the killing blow. There we go. Giant LD. What a character. What a champion, Bart's. Killing these two dragons by himself single-handedly with a single attack. You love to see it. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Adios!